Taking a closer look at one of our top stories tonight, three months after the car fire ripped through Shasta County, we're now hearing some of those 911 calls made that day. Okay, if you can get out safely, get out, okay? I can't. You no, know, I can have a ride out of here. It's, it's all on fire around it. The flames killed eight people and destroyed more than 1,000 homes and more than 229,000 acres burned. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins listened to several of the frantic 911 calls tonight and joins us now with more. Macy. Tony and Adrian, the car fire takes the spot for the sixth most destructive fire in California history. The record searchlight newspaper obtained the 911 dispatch calls. Tonight, we listened to those calls and heard their desperate pleas for help. 911, your emergency. I've been a dozer. All the, all the windows got blown out. I got my curtains down. July 26th, 2018, a chilling 911 call came through dispatch. I, I can't last too long here. Okay, if you can get out safely, get out, okay? I can't. No, I can have a ride out of here. It's, it's all on fire around it. A man trapped inside of a dozer with the car fire raging on all sides. Stay in line, okay? I'm sure a couple of these guys got killed. What was your first name, sir? Don. Don. Okay. In audio of the calls posted on the record searchlight website, Dawn and the dispatcher went back and forth trying to pinpoint his location. She assured him help was on the way, but Dawn warned of the danger. Don't risk anybody's life for mine, but if you're going to lay down, send somebody for me, please. Of course I will. It's unclear what happened to Dawn. Can you just stay on the line for me, okay? Just okay. But this wasn't the only call Shascom dispatchers received that summer afternoon. Hi. I'm going to try and stay calm. And my 11 year old baby is on Masonic Avenue, and they will not let me in to get them, and they have no way out. Dispatchers trying to calmly instruct terrified callers on where to go during the firestorm. If it told you to evacuate, you should go. Flames fueled by scorching temperatures that jumped over the Sacramento River at one point. Tornadoes within the fire causing an unclear direction, leaving residents scrambling to escape. Don, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you go. And I'm going to have I'm going to have you call your your wife, and I'm going to get someone out there as soon as possible. Okay, all right, bye bye. Now, the identity of the man in the dozer is still unclear. The car fire burned for more than two months, and officials say it was sparked after a trailer with a flat tire ignited nearby brush. You just hear the emotion, certainly in Don and the dispatcher's voice going right. through that as it was happening. He's trying to it's, stay calm in all of that yeah, craziness. Gives you chills. Macy, thanks. To this